Welcome back everybody to the Grand Shamrock Tour and if you don't know by now, my name is John. <laughs> and I'm Carolyn. And we, if you're looking for the opening skit, you gotta wait all the way to the end of this one because I can't wait to tell you what we did this week. Oh my gosh, so let's get started. Right. I always tell Carolyn, life is what happens when you're looking for a cheese sandwich. So, we went looking for a cheese sandwich. We're headed to Tillamook, Oregon. We love going to the coast. And uh, so I pull out the Butler Maps. Butler Maps are great. Butler Maps is where we've been finding the motorcycle specific roads yeah. all around the country. And so our Oregon one's pretty worn out, but Carolyn noticed up in that far northwest corner, well, it was, section three had not been written. So we got the great rides of Oregon. Now we're here in Salem. And what we did was we found a place that we had not ridden yet. And that was up here on number three. Uh, supposedly just uh, one of the finest rides in Oregon. But if you don't want to do the off pavement riding, do not take this journey. You know, and it does say curvy and the one section of gravel road, maybe if three or four miles. What? What's there to worry about? We're up for that, yeah. I'm up for that. Yeah. yeah. What we did find out as we were coming down this beautiful Nestucca River Road uh, is that Somebody said, hey, you know, there's a tree down up ahead. And I go, yeah. well, let's go check that out. Well, it was more than a tree. It was the tree, the roots, the grab, all, the, well, actually the whole hillside. Yeah, it was a hillside. <laughs> it was a landslide had taken out the road. So they had, they had cut a, a small window through that tree where you could tell somebody had taken bikes through before. So I said, hey, let's give it a shot. So I got Carolyn's bike about halfway through I can take your bike over. That was the point of no return. Hey, yeah. We're not doing it. Yeah, I, I just said, nah, if, it, if, nope. if I go over, then it kind of ruins the day. Yeah. So we backed the bikes out, and as we were pulling away, we ran into some killers. Oh, there were three guys on KLR 650s. Oh. Uh, yeah, what a hoot. You they know, were the killers. Yeah, they weren't going through that either. Yeah. You know? And they had better tires than we did. Well, the three guys from Hillsboro, Oregon, uh, they had a basically a map on their phone that said we can go up over this mountain ridge yeah uh there's going to be a series of, of, of single tracks and maybe some fire roads and a drop down and it's going to put us right a mile and a sure. half on the other side of that landslide sure. you Why up not? for it i'm up for it oh i'm up for it they should allow one and a half hours to drive the byway all but three miles is paid Some of those roads, not only were they, there was gravel. Oh yeah. There was a lot of mud. Really slick. 
Yeah, lots of, you know, little down branches. Pretty wet, stuff. pretty wet. Um, and a lot of dead ends. A lot of dead ends. <laughs> well, the maps weren't accurate. They, he, he, we didn't have cell service. The map hadn't been downloaded, and all of a sudden, we're just the blue dot in the middle of a well, gray my, field. My GPS had a little pink line that kept disappearing. Right. And so, you know, that's that was the end of that. We had a couple of uh, swaps. The the the, the couple, couple of the guys of right had swapped ends, and so yeah. we had a couple of little minor accidents, but nothing anybody couldn't pick up and keep going. That's where we were really impressed with the three tens. When we get the right tires on these. It's a, it's a, it's going to be a game changer for us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A little less mud would be okay too. <laughs> you know, a little less rain Look. as we've been having. You know. But we are so happy and and really grateful to the 310 community. They have really engaged with us and thanks a lot, guys. We we yeah. we love these bikes. They're really a lot of fun and man that was proven on sunday yeah you know and if you're interested like these three tens in order to get to where we were right we took the freeway and i rode 70 75 miles an hour no and problem no problem uh took it over the ferry yeah we have ferry lo love riding the ferries <laughs> we got, a, got our then, first 360 uh, ferry footage so that'll be interesting yeah, yeah. out to those curvy roads now I do want to say I'm thinking tomorrow the Sun is gonna be out and we're headed to Tillamook for another cheese sandwich I get a cheese sandwich <laughs> I get a cheese sandwich. I get a cheese sandwich <laughs> we're grateful to the three guys from Hillsboro we had such a great time yeah. we're grateful that they got me back with uh, I believe nine more miles left to go in my <laughs> tank we, of gas yeah, we did make right. it to that, that fuel stop <laughs> right. and that was real helpful. right uh, and, and I'm really grateful for Carolyn for being the person that, that I married that's always up for an amazing adventure. And we had an amazing adventure. Yes. And on that note, travel safe. And we'll see you out on the road. Hey, John, you've been watching college basketball for weeks now. Final four is over. Can we just go for a motorcycle ride? Well, yeah, but Carolyn, I learned a lot about defensive motorcycle techniques hmm. from college basketball that we can use on our ride. Huh, like what? Yeah, it's not that hard. You just gotta box out! Box out! B -b -b -box, out. box out! Box out! Box out! If you box me out one more time, I swear I'm gonna box you out. <laughs>